In addition to Dr. Sandra Harris and one of our staff advisor, Kim Palermo, this year's recipient of honorary membership in the Golden Key International Honor Society is my mentor in UC Berkeley, Dr. Nicholas Patrick Jewell, and my former professor, Dr. Shana Barnett, whose words as a professor and a leader in her field inspired me to reach my potential. Consider me as a father enjoying the company of my daughter 10 years ago when she was just three years old reading a, a picture book. Martha B. Parable 2010 stated that the picture book opens to a week with that effectively places the child at the center of a closed circle, that of a parent's body, arms, and the picture book. That circle so private and intimate is a place apart from the demands and stresses of daily life, a sanctuary in and from on which the child can explore the many worlds of offered in a picture book. Dr. Jewell's book in Statistics for Epidemiology may not be a picture book, but it has a lot of statistical e equation for sure that helped me a lot in finishing my dissertation on the patopoiesis mechanism of smoking and shared genes in pancreatic cancer. I started the journey as a PhD student, juggling between work and as a single father by listening to Dr. Jewel's I Choose You Lectures on Public Health 241. He teaches at the University of California, Berkeley, Division of Biostatistics, School of Public Health, and Department of Statistics. Hi, my name is uh, Nick Jewel. I'm a professor of biostatistics at the School of Public Health at the University of California, Berkeley, where I've been for 32 years. And I teach and do research in the application of statistical methods to problems arising in public health and in the health sciences. Now I know many of you think statistics is a boring subject, but in fact we're living through a golden age of statistics in terms of how available and ubiquitous data is in every field of application. Nothing can be more exciting than determining a risk factor and allowing people to intervene to prevent people getting sick in the first place. It's really more exciting than clinical medicine because in clinical medicine, the person has already gotten sick. It's a wonderful collaborative environment of doing research that not only is interesting intellectually, that's the small part. What's really powerful is having impact in human lives and changing the human condition for the better whether it's helping a baby get out of hospital from human botulism, whether it's preventing an HIV infection, whether it's bringing closure to someone who's been killed in a human rights conflict, whatever it may be, the statistician is at there in the heart of the data analysis and bringing change to the world.